All righty, welcome everyone. We uh, are going to go ahead and get started. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, this webinar uh, is intended to be the ultimate guide to enhancing the guest experience at your outdoor property and how to track your success moving forward. So we're happy that you're here and that you've taken time out of your day to participate with us and uh, learn more and uh, how uh, uh, you can satisfy your guests. So we'll go ahead and get started with some introductions here and uh, let you know who's presenting. And I'm going to let my wonderful uh, co-host go first. Kim, uh, start us off. Hi, everyone. Thanks again for joining. Uh, so today, um, I just want to introduce myself. I My name is Kim. After spending the last 10 years in hospitality managing hotels and RV parks, I have joined the RMS team as an account manager, helping clients across North America and uh, having the knowledge of using the system firsthand helps me understand what clients are looking for and to help advise the best tips and tricks of the industry and PMS alike. All righty. Well, thank you, Kim. Uh, Kim, uh, it's uh, our first time to do a presentation together. I really enjoy working with you. And uh, Kim used to be uh, actually a client of ours. She's used our system, so uh, she's had some wonderful insight here today. But my name is Chuck Dune. Uh, I am one of the sales executives here at uh, RMS. Been with the company for about six years. I'm out of uh, South Carolina, Traveler's Rest. Uh, is where I uh, work remotely from, but I have uh, about 20 years of uh, hotel management under my belt and 20 years, the last 20 years uh, of uh, selling software solutions to the hospitality uh, industry. So uh, I enjoy helping people find the right solution to find uh, the tools to, uh, to manage their property. So I'm looking forward to today and going over how we can help you help make your guests happy. So you ready, Kim? I think so. Honestly, Chuck, you were my sales guy for the RMS system, and it was a great time meeting with you, and I can't wait to go through this with you today. Oh, you were the one. <laughs> no, I have more than that. We have more than that. <laughs> but anyway, okay, all righty. So um, uh, about uh, RMS, uh, before we begin, if you haven't heard of RMS before. First of all, you may wonder, what does RMS stand for? Well, it is Reservation Management Systems, very appropriate. Uh, and we're a leading provider of uh, cloud-based property management solutions specifically made for the needs of the outdoor hospitality industry. We've been innovating our technology for over 40 years now. Uh, the company actually was started in Melbourne, Australia, uh, but uh, our North American headquarters is in San Diego, and uh, we uh, work with properties uh, in the Americas, North America, can, you know, being the U.S., Canada, uh, we're in Mexico, and even in the Caribbean. Uh, so um, uh, our San Diego office and the team there is uh, all primarily for this North America part. But when it comes to hospitality, the guest experience directly impacts uh, a property's reputation, reservation rates, and ultimately the revenue at the property. Uh, while exceeding guest expectations may not always be easy, out of the box thinking supported by a reservation management system can help leave ca uh, campers and boaters because uh, we do work with marinas as well, the outdoors, raving about their experience. So today we hope uh, that uh, you gain actionable insight to ultimately increase your bookings, maximize your revenue, and enhance the guest experience for your visitors. So with that said, uh, here are some key considerations to ensure true customer satisfaction that can drive your property's success. Thanks, Chuck. Uh, yeah, so Ensuring accessibility. Each guest deserves a great experience, which means you should consider making your outdoor property welcoming to everyone. And a great first step is actually making it kid friendly. According to the most recent Statista report, 58% of those who visit campgrounds and marinas have children with them. Uh, having kid friendly activities can not only improve the guest experience for your younger guests, but it can also provide memorable experiences for the whole family that can also include several layers. Uh, having playgrounds and safe areas for them to enjoy, organized games, uh, previous history of managing properties myself. One of the first purchases I would buy for the property for uh, my outdoor property I managed was just those big giant connect fours and a big Jenga set and having those organized games to be able to play and reserve for your families is a really fun way to spend the afternoon uh, and I can confirm that 
it got your property that the Connect 4 pieces do float, so you can grab them pretty. Um, arts and crafts, if you have a community center at your property, it's a great way to set up stations for kids and get creative and bring those memories back home. Remember, depending on the space, uh, amenities available at your park or marina, you can offer fun experiences like movie screenings. Board games, having board game competitions, or just having those readily available for families to pick out at their leisure. Work within your budget and create a fun space for kids and make sure that all guests are aware of any rules or with parental supervision needed. No matter which kid friendly option you choose to incorporate, consider remind sending out email reminders. Updates about your kid friendly options and upgrades maybe since the last day of your guests and uh, really entice those families to book at your property versus someone else's. All righty, well, I um, certainly uh, important. Uh, I now look for the 55 plus. My kids are all grown, but certainly that is important if you have kids. And also, I'm not sure if pickleball is a kid thing, but the pickleball is a growing sport. So having that as an activity as well. So, uh, but um, uh, the uh, accessibility, uh, and uh, ADA uh, requirements over time uh, would uh, be, uh, you know, the other side of uh, some guest satisfaction, but the uh, physical accessibility and uh, physical accessibility over time. Uh, if you do not know that the Americans with Disability Act, the ADA, is legislation uh, piece that gives people with uh, disabilities the means to participate in the same aspects of American life as everyone else. So essentially, campers and boaters may not be denied access to your property based on their disability. But there is no reason to stop there. Caring for every guest is a key component to having an ethical and inclusive environment that makes for a reputable business. So having an understanding of a variety of accessible issues can help get your outdoor property uh, noticed and appreciated by people with different abilities. If your property has barrier free access as opposed to merely barrier free modifications, you can improve the guest experience for everyone and show respect and care for those with physical limitations and disabilities. So uh, Kim, you have some uh, other uh, uh, insights and suggestions here? Yeah, you know, some things that you may consider for the ADA accessibilities can include a variety of things like wheelchair accessibility, uh, considering having ramps that meet requirements for the ADA for buildings within your outdoor properties, walking trails and docks, uh, flat concrete surfaces with expanded walkways for those with mobility challenges, you know, a flat hard surface can make it more enjoyable to get around the campground or marina. Accessible bathrooms are going to be a, a big driver here, so following those ADA bathroom guidelines, such as just adding additional grab bars, having those in the showers, uh, maybe even having accessible uh, um, rubber pads that people can take from the front desk to put in the showers. It can really ensure your guests have access to the facilities that they need. Another feature that'd be really good is rest stops and medical supplies. You know, even if you have ramps and wheelchair accessibility, rest stops along hiking or biking trails can make it make a huge difference for someone needing a moment to enjoy and catch their breath. Uh, and also providing basic first aid kits at trailheads or rest stops so that you can turn a major incident into just a minor inconvenience. In addition, uh, these considerations always have you should always have the nearest medical facilities readily available to your staff and guests in case of an emergency. Providing this information on welcome packets uh, or using a message system to can really show that you have your guest safety in mind. Accessibility over time, while these changes won't happen overnight, they can take a, a, a time implementing them and organizing them, but having accessibility goals like ADA compliance lists Or it's creating that best experience possible for everyone. A gradual increase in curb appeal and accessibility can go a long way towards improving your guest experience and increases the reputation of your outdoor property. Chuck, I actually, uh, so at, is there anything that you've seen at a property that grabbed your attention or that helped you choose one property over another as an avid RV goer? Well, uh, yeah, I've uh, I've driven across the country 
a couple of times now uh, and uh, stayed at a lot of parks and uh, you know, some things that I guess may be related to the ADA haven't been uh, on my consideration, fortunately, I guess that, uh, but uh, there's some things that I've seen that uh, uh, that could certainly help out in this particular area. And uh, one of them uh, was actually at a recent um, trade show I, I was at. Uh, actually, it was uh, a park uh, where I had seen uh, uh, this wheelchair that the uh, park was providing that uh, had uh, looked like a tractor treads on a tank, like a M1 Abrams tank. These things were huge, but they had provided this wheelchair uh, for their guests that uh, had a wheelchair already, just being able to get out and about on the property. So certainly having something like that, showing some consideration for the accessibility. Uh, and then at a trade show that I was at recently, uh, you talked about medical equipment. Uh, they had a talking uh, defibrillator. It told you what to do. I mean, you cannot mess it up. So anybody that was at the Florida Alabama show uh, probably saw that. So uh, just some things as far as accessibility uh, for keeping your guests safe and letting them get about. Those would be a couple that uh, I'd like to point out. So, uh, but uh, with that, we'll go to our next slide, which uh, is engage uh, with your guest. Yep, there we go. Uh, engaging with your guests is extremely important as campers and boaters love great customer service uh, and uh, they can depend on. Uh, if you manage one or multiple outdoor properties, keep in mind that great guest interaction could mean increased reservations for all of your properties. Other than providing service with a smile, there are other ways you can show that you care and engage with your visitors, including loyalty programs, surveys, and reviews. So loyalty programs, uh, lots of places have them. My two favorites, Chick-fil-A and McDonald's. Got the app on my phone. I get a freebie almost every day with something here. So having a loyalty program for your park or your marina, your outdoor facility, uh, helps build a long-term relations with your visitors. Uh, for example, this can include perks like exclusive discounts, referral bonuses when they recommend your property to other guests. And for increased engagement, you could also offer loyalty program discounts tailored to your guest reservations preferences and a thank you e email each time they use their perks. Additionally, if your online booking platform has dynamic pricing, uh, which of course RMS does, you can offer reduced rates for extended stays automatically. This, t this way, long-term stay campers and boaters uh, will be encouraged to book more time at your property. I just actually booked 14 days at the state park right outside of Boston. They didn't give me anything, but uh, uh, hopefully uh, the uh, next time I go back, they will. But uh, certainly adding those perks can be beneficial. Surveys and reviews uh, to boost the reputation of your outdoor property. You can ask for reviews by sending an email or friendly message to the guest portal via your online booking platform. Sending surveys to guests after their stay can not only make them feel appreciated, but can provide valuable feedback to help you improve the guest experience at your property as well. And one thing you may hear with that uh, related to is NPS, Net Promoter Scores. Uh, when you are getting feedback from your customer, uh, a Net Promoter Score is something that we help you evaluate uh, in RMS as well. So once you have it, carefully read the feedback of your uh, campers and boaters and promptly address any issues. You can engage with your guests directly by incorporating their suggestions into your daily operations and asking follow-up questions when needed. So um, next slide there, there we go. Perfect, and uh, you know, going hand in hand with the feedback that you've gotten by engaging with your guests, you know, unique entertainment's gonna come into play there. Personalization is key when it comes to creating a memorable stay for your guests. Uh, once you have feedback from your visitors, you can use that information to improve the guest experience in a way that will attract both locals and travelers. For example, if you manage an RV park or campground, you can consider bonfire nights, karaoke, local bands and singers to host. Uh, if you have the facilities available, guided hiking tours or horseback riding. Outdoor basketball courts, pickleball courts are very big. And same with a pool or hot tub, always fun features in case you wanted to host a luau or kind of have a community event planned around those areas. Um, when I worked at uh, an RV park in San Diego, I actually 
brought on a bocce ball court. So it's kind of a fun way to get your guests engaged and give them an area to go play in the air in the outdoors. But also it didn't take too much effort to build that bocce ball court, just grabbing the set online and then being able to have that open area for your guests to enjoy. If you manage a marina, you can consider fishing contests, having a big picture board of previous guests and their prize catches, kayaking or surfing if it's readily available, grill stations near your docks, and uh, another great one is for both areas for your outdoor property is highlighting local bars and restaurants. It's a great way to promote local businesses and build relationships and provide specials for your guests. Equipment rentals are going to come hand in hand with those kayaking and surfing. You know, folks love those paddle boards. They're going to be great opportunities to have those available, especially if you have some sort of boardwalk near your marina. You can also have bike rentals that kind of give them an opportunity to explore the area and get uh, acquainted with those local bars and restaurants. If not all types of entertainment are possible, you can provide welcome packets of information about entertainment opportunities near your property. A paperless route would be announcing special events through emails and SMS messaging using your reservation management system. Guests can make the most of their stay by planning ahead, so giving them opportunity to review this prior to their arrival is going to be really, really key. These increased offerings can give your visitors a reason to book with you time and time again. Well, that's what we want, right? We want to come back. The uh, One of the more unique things that I did recently, one of our clients uh, that I stayed at, was uh, they, had, they, were, they had a llama farm, and uh, I learned how to spin llama hair into yarn. So I got that going for me. And they also did storytelling, uh, which was unique. Oh. Uh, so I uh, thought to point that out, they had some uh, professional storyteller come in at night and uh, tell some stories. Uh, I didn't participate, but I did do the llama yarn. But uh, next slide. OK, we have the uh, continuous staff training. And uh, yes, it is continuous. Uh, continuous training over a variety of customer service areas can help increase the confidence of your staff and give you peace of mind that your visitors are receiving the best customer service possible. Uh, employee staff, uh, staff training should include how to handle guest complaints. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, there will be some of those. And how you handle them can certainly uh, maybe look better than not having a problem at all. But I don't think so. But anyway, you need to know how to handle the complaints, training them on that. Respond to in-person, phone, and email inquiries. Uh, use your online booking platform, uh, and there are a variety of training opportunities for your staff, uh, including hospitality conferences. If you're a member of, of ARVIC uh, or uh, any uh, local association, you can probably find them there. Uh, online workshops that are available, LinkedIn, I know offers uh, these uh, uh, as well. I've used some of their services before. Uh, that will enable your team to enhance the guest experience in multiple ways at a time. Uh, training your staff to use the right reservation and property management software will save time and reduce communications errors. We know that. Uh, since reservations can be viewed in real time on any device, everyone can stay on the same page. Uh, additionally, integrated online reservation software allows your team to directly communicate with guests without having to pick up the phone. Ensure your staff is trained on how to efficiently use the software to avoid double bookings and overbookings, all while managing your reservation from the same platform. Even if you manage more than one property, uh, and RMS has that capability uh, for some of you I know that are attending there already have it. So uh, um, as an account manager, Kim, I know that uh, you get uh, you work with our clients a lot, so uh, you frequently have some conversations about ongoing training with the uh, the software. Most definitely, yes. You know, especially as everything in, evolves and grows with the the times with the technology technology trends, it's always going to be a good point of the new year to get refreshes on rates, new features, correspondence triggered correspondence and all of those can be scheduled with you know uh, with an RMS account manager and we have several layers of training opportunities that can include self-paced taught ones uh, our YouTube channel which this will be up on including other quick tutorials and uh, yeah reach out to your account manager 
And I think we have some of our training uh, team watching this now, so they do an excellent job. Let's give a shout out to them. So, but always well continuous training. Mm -hmm. And with continuous, you know, staff training, guest communication is going to be a really big key through all of this. All of this is ever evolving. We have so many different ways to get communication, receive communication as a guest and a, you know, user, visitor, traveler. Uh, and communication between you, your staff, and your visitors is a crucial component of operational excellence. Typically, this means a lot of manual operations for your employ employees, such as physically visiting a campsite or slip to effectively communicate with your guests. However, there are tools with uh, reservation management systems that give you an opportunity to have digital communication tools to help you promote and uh, to help you promote and be professional during your visitors' interactions. They may also free up your staff time to handle more reserv uh, guest reservations, resulting in better communication without adding the manual portion of it. To improve the guest experience, you'll want to consider prioritizing online guest communication before, during, and after their stay. Before their stay, direct emails or SMS messages are going to be a great opportunity to send those reminders before they arrive, reminding them of their upcoming reservations, share a list of amenities or updates to the property since they last visited, or alert your guests on upcoming promotions and discounts to attract them to come visit you. After a reservation is made, uh, a camper is booked at your outdoor property Consider using email marketing to send a follow up with useful information. Types of information to include in emails to your campers can include, of course, reservation details, dates, locations, map directions, a list of activities that can be participated in during their stay, and contact information, such as a link to the guest portal that allows them to message your, your staff directly. Uh, there's also going to be some more features that are that people can utilize in their reservation management system that helps alleviate physically leaving the front desk. Maybe if uh, a camper or visitor has reported something, you can have that feature allowing them to log a maintenance job. You know, sometimes it's just a simple, hey, I think my, my pad is a little cracked. I didn't notice that the last time I stayed with you. And being able to communicate that, or maybe, hey, the connection on my water line is not correct. Being able to report that in real time to your staff to get that accurately addressed with your maintenance staff is going to be really key for communication during their stay. Yeah, all good stuff. And actually, one thing prior uh, before arriving that uh, I appreciate uh, as I travel and use my RV uh, or when uh, the property will uh, alert me to uh, not pay attention to the GPS. Uh, there are sometimes yeah. uh, certain entrances do not uh, accommodate certain vehicle sizes and uh, trailers. So if that can go out as a reminder email on the day of their arrival, that can certainly be beneficial to make sure that uh, uh, they come in the, the best possible way for their size of, uh, of RV. Uh, so uh, I've gotten those before and just pass that along. But, you know, during this uh, their stay, uh, you know, if it's included as a feature, in your system, which it is with ours, RMS, uh, staff can use your reservation system to send SMS text messaging. And I always like to point out SMS, you know, what is it? Small message service. So SMS text messaging and online chat to provide an open line of communication. Uh, this means that your uh, campers and boaters can get their questions answered, find out information about amenities and events and more through a guest portal without leaving their campsite or dock, uh, especially helpful during their stay. Uh, and then uh, during their stay, when they arrive, perhaps uh, providing some bottled waters, uh, snacks, uh, or information pamphlets. Usually we always get the map and the uh, do's and don'ts at the park, but uh, you know, many hotels will pass out, uh, give a, a little bottled water when you arrive. And uh, I've had that happen at some parks. And by the time I've backed up my RV into the space and uh, had some loud conversations with my wife as we're doing that, uh, a bottle of water would be nice uh, after the uh, the process is done. And hopefully I didn't hit the pedestal when I was backing up. But after the stay, 
ask for feedback uh, after previous concerns of theirs have been addressed. Hopefully they can uh, report that you satisfied them but uh, and took care of the situation. Another way is to utilize the email feature of your software is to set up automatic monthly emails uh, that include special offers, promotions, and details of events happening soon. Email automation can save you time and money uh, while still ordering a guess about property updates and upcoming events. It may even push them to book future stays with you. Uh, definitely getting them back uh, is what we want to do. Potentially, you have uh, to use your campground or marina reservation system to contact guests after they've left your property. You could thank them for staying with you and ask for feedback, reviews, and even offer a discount for their next uh, reservation. This connects you with your audience and shows them that your property understands why guest experience is important. And one thing that I've seen at a few parks uh, as I'm leaving, they have a sign, thank you for staying with us, uh, but they'll put their uh, social media ID, their Instagram or Facebook uh, uh, ID on there and any recommended hashtags to post. So, you know, as you're leaving, if you've got a welcome sign, maybe on the back, uh, give them that uh, that link to be able to post the pictures that they've taken at your at your park. Yeah, and personalization goes a, a long way, Chuck. And you're always looking, we're always looking for ways to stand out from the competition. And one way to win over guests is to make them feel special with personalization. In fact, 87% of consumers would be more likely to do business with a property if they offered personalized experiences, which is a lot. However, only 64% of travel websites or apps are currently delivering personalized experiences somewhat well. Here are a few ways to get your person help you personalize your guest stay and further enhance that guest experience. The first one's going to be giving your guests their own online portal. Allow guests to own their travel experience by granting them access to be to a personalized specific portal. Here they can your guests can provide you ETAs to help you prepare for early or after hour arrivals. They can add upgrades, view payment history and even message your staff all without having to call your property. This gives guests the autonomy to manage their own reservations while freeing up your staff's time to focus on important aspects of your business, like daily operations, continuous training, and the avail availability to provide your guests with just an outstanding customer service. Customize your guest, uh, guest communications is going to be the next step. To truly capture your guests' attention, you need to say the right thing at the right time when they're ready to hear it. And that often means using data about your guests to personalize their experience. We need their feedback. Opportunities to send interactive emails to get personalized feedback from each guest are a great way to get creative with your communication process. For example, you may have learned that a guest's pet name and in their pre-arrival survey, you have uh, well, you, you found that out from their survey and having little doggy bags with their pet's name written on them and provided that to them at check-in is going to be a great start to their stay. We also understand that larger properties might not always be scalable to leave handwritten notes for every traveler. However, there are other ways you can customize your communication and marketing, guest services, and more. For example, you can use their first name in the visitor email correspondence. Little personalizations to know that you stayed with us three visits and we can't wait to welcome you for your fourth. Sending a thank you email upon reservations and check-in. And of course, offering information at check-in or prior to arrival about events and activities that will be happening during their stay to help them plan what their experience will be. All good stuff. And uh, one thing as well, uh, uh, during my travels that I've experienced as far as personalizing, you know, uh, at some parks that I've arrived when I check in, um, they have had somebody escort me to my site. Many times you get that map and they'll highlight the route, how to get there. Uh, I found it uh, uh, just a, a neat, nice touch that uh, they'll have their gar golf cart and I just follow them where to go. Uh, I love that. What I don't like is they stood around and watched to be back in. I just put pressure on me and I yell more. So <laughs> once you get to take them to the site, 
leave. Uh, but uh, some other things uh, as far as keep learning about your customers. Uh, the more you know about your travelers, the more personalized experience you can offer. By understanding what your guests likes and dislikes, uh, you can focus on improving areas that your visitors love while changing the things they don't. There are two prominent ways uh, that you can learn more in-depth details about your travelers, and the first is through a survey. As we mentioned before, asking your customers directly for their feedback shows that uh, you were interested in their experience and improving it moving forward. Think of a few ways that you can automate your feedback experience, such as setting up a triggered uh, correspondence, an automated email uh, that uh, you know asks, how did uh, you enjoy your stay? and uh, email after you know, they have checked out. And that net promoter score feature we're talking about uh, in RMS is something that as they evaluate that survey, uh, then uh, we'll be having that score listed for you in some of the reports and even on your dashboard. Other sources of data that you can use to learn about your guest behaviors and preferences and property management system are reports and uh, with reports and other tools. For example, if you notice that your guest consistently checks in year after year to your property in August, uh, there might be a way that you can sweeten the pot for next year's stay and automate a seasonal campaign to email a few weeks prior to their anticipated stay about local events, happenings later in the summer, and some of them a nice upgrade for being a loyal guest. And you can also offer some discounts for repeat uh, visitors and a referral program. This may all seem overwhelming. However, by leveraging a system that automatically collects data about your guests, you can enable automate personalized communication. In a perfect world, your system, uh, a system like that takes the hard work out of personalizing your experiences uh, for your past and future guests. So you and your team can fo focus uh, exclusively on your current visitors. Set up as many automated triggers in the system as, uh, as you can and use those merge fields to personalize them. So these personal touches can make a difference when a camper is considering their full experience at your outdoor property. With guest experience comes guest experience trends. There are a few different considerations for technology trends depending on the type of outdoor property you manage for campgrounds and RV parks. The use of technology is trending for campsites. In fact, 46% of campers said that they bring their work with them and work while camping. If you manage a campground or RV park, you can improve the guest experience by adapting to these camping trends. Of course, we know the big one is glamping, giving them a little added cushion to their camping experience, eco-friendly solutions, dog-friendly amenities, and dog-friendly amenities can go hand in hand with eco-friendly solutions, being able to set up doggy pickup stations around your facility to allow a clean property and to have your guests clean up after their friendly friends. Dog parks included are going to be really nice to have. You know, if they're traveling with kids, they're traveling with pets, vice versa, the dog parks are really nice to have an uh, enclosed area to let their pets run free. Functional and clean restrooms, guilt grills provided upon request. You know, guests are excited about the opportunity to stay more connected, more comfortable, and have an overall easier stay. However, boaters would appreciate the same high quality stay as well. While bo boaters might not necessarily be enthralled by glamping, they certainly would appreciate thoughtful gestures to improve their proper, their stay as well. Offering shore power via community rec center so your boaters can stretch their legs and charge their devices, watch TV, and use other appliances while docked. Uh, providing the same clean showers and restrooms for boaters to freshen up without the worry of on-rig water supplies. And Another fun thing for outdoor facilities in general is going to be inviting food trucks to the area, being able to maybe highlighting a local restaurant to come and, you know, feed the masses and have a set up monthly event. Who doesn't like a food truck, right? Alrighty, uh, trends for all properties. Uh, being on trend improves the guest experience for everyone, no matter what type of outdoor property you manage. Staying on top of the trends and using technology to its full potential is crucial to improving the guest experience. Uh, any property 
can offer things like a quiet area where guests can work peacefully. I've been to many uh, uh, guest centers and uh, just a, a lounge that's uh, off from the office and uh, have utilized those. Uh, free Wi-Fi. Uh, whenever I travel, Wi-Fi is important to me, uh, but uh, having a, a high-speed package available for extra uh, purchase perhaps. Uh, I work remotely right now. As I mentioned, I'm in South Carolina, but there are times I work remotely remotely and I'm at an RV park and I have purchased uh, the upgraded uh, internet service, but having that available is an option and there are some vendors at some of the trade shows you can talk to about that, but certainly a biggie for me is having that Wi-Fi to being able to work uh, while I'm out and about. And my wife's a school teacher. She does some remote teaching, and if she's in the RV, having that quiet center could be helpful for one of us to get out of uh, our small camper. Self check in and check out uh, to give your guests more flexibility, and our guest portal allows for that capability. Uh, and I love that uh, when I stay at a park. My wife is a people person. Uh, I'm not, uh, so I like it to be automated. Uh, but access to the reservations and to make changes and requests through a guest portal uh, are some uh, very convenient technology uh, tools to offer your guests. And for technology trends, your visitors are already expecting your property to have things like Wi-Fi, but we all know improving the guest experience with technology goes far beyond this. As the hospitality industry continues to recover from the pandemic, outdoor property operators need a software solution that supports a convenient, welcoming, an efficient experience for your guests. There are six trend, trending ways to enhance the guest experience using technology. First one up is going to be mobile check-in and check-out. Whether a guest is arriving after hours, which can be, uh, you know, pretty common, especially with travelers on the road. You know, you might have needed an extra stop on your way. You simply want to reduce face to face contact. So being able to send those triggered correspondence on directions after hours after the office is closed so that that guest knows that they're taken care of even when you're not there for them and they can easily find their site, get set up and chat with you in the morning. Guest portal empower guests by enabling them to manage their reservations. As we mentioned earlier, receive notifications related to their stay make payments, print receipts, communicate directly with your staff. And on the property side, communications and payments are stored under each guest reservation record for reference and record keeping. It's so nice to be able to go to a guest profile and see their different stays, see where they're at with their reservation payments and deposits, and have that readily available on the property side. Another option is going to be that internet booking engine, so our IBE. The built-in booking engine will enable the property to showcase real-time availability and capture more stays through direct bookings on your website. Not only is it more convenient for your guests, but it also reduces OTA fees and reduces the amount of staff time spent on phone calls. And we also yeah. have three more, yeah. For you yeah. Then the rest of them would be uh, with your your SMS, your small message service. Text messaging again is uh, you know creating an easy line of communication uh, between uh, your property and guests for important information, alerts, and any concerns uh, concerns provide a level of convenience engagement that improves the experience for both guests and staff. So um, certainly sending out an alert uh, when there's bad weather coming for a people to know to put their awnings up and uh, maybe any, uh, any chairs away so that they're not on the other side of the park uh, later on during the day. Uh, so sending out those text messages. Uh, and uh, of course, if you're doing that, you may want to make the mobile field mandatory in your reservation record screen. So you have that information for each of your guests. But a loyalty program, a loyalty program can help drive repeat visits to your property, reduce acquisition cost and make a big difference to your bottom line by giving guests an incentive to return again and again. A loyalty program can be set up to reward guests every time they stay and spend at your park, creating more engaged, satisfied guests that trust your business and take care of them. And then your guest records 
you know, the uh, fields, the, uh, the, the profiles that you have in the system, guest records allow you to have a better understanding of individual needs to increase guest comfort and satisfaction. The ability to customize and save guest preferences, decrease time spent on collecting information during the check-in process and providing personalized touches that let guests know uh, that they are valued. And now we're going to move on to how to measure that guest experience. So once you've made improvements to the guest experience, it's time to figure out what strategies worked uh, by using specific key performance indicators or KPIs to measure your guest experience. You'll gain clear insights into their favorite aspects of your property and areas to improve, which enables you to set goals and adjust your operations and take your business to the next level. Although additional KPIs will depend on your property and goals, today we'll discuss the three main KPIs that your business should track to ha have an overall picture of your property satisfaction, standing regardless of the property type. Guest reviews and guest satisfactions. By examining guest reviews and guest satisfaction surveys, you can have first person explanations of how people are experiencing your property. To create Numerical data on this information, you'll want to know how many positive and negative reviews you've received month over month to see if there's any changes in the ratio of positive versus negative. Once you know your current standings, then you can go ahead and make goals to reach each certain number of reviews or to achieve a certain average rating. By measuring the guest satisfaction rate, you can also more effectively manage and improve your outdoor property, which will further improve your guest experience. Then, of course, uh, loyal customers, you know, with the reservation management system that provides you with guest data, you'll be able to see if you have repeat guests, which are often an indicator that you are a positive experience of your property. You can then set goals for the number of returning guests that you would like to strive for during a certain time period and adjust your operations and offerings to meet those goals. For those loyal customers, you could also consider building a loyalty program that includes discounted rates and special offers to help each uh, reach your goal. And then referrals. How many of your current customers uh, suggest your property to other people? Uh, and uh, when somebody books or visits your property for the first time, ask them how they heard about your, uh, your property, your campground or your marina. If they mention that a friend recommended your property, this reflects your business uh, positive reputation at the, uh, and the experiences you provide to your guests. If you're looking to reach a goal uh, for referrals that you set to track the guest experience, you can then build a loyalty program to offer the discounts to guests who recommend your property to other potential visitors. And one thing in, uh, in, in the RMS system, you do have the ability to create some unique promo codes and those can be uh, given to an individual and then they could pass out that uh, promo code. So make your promoters a promo code to help them with those referrals and uh, uh, you know send those people your way. But these KPIs can show where your business has the potential to grow and locate uh, any pain points so you can be proactive with your guest experience management while you continue scaling your business. Having an in-depth understanding of your business reputation can help you determine what additional improvements can be incorporated to make the guest experience better and to achieve operational excellence. Yeah. Uh, enhancing the guest experience differs with depending on the property type and depending on what kind of outdoor property you manage, enhancing the guest experience can have different meanings. For example, if you own a marina, the main focus should be to provide your boaters with a comfortable stay while they're docked with you. Boaters may also appreciate it if you go the extra mile to provide safety tips and guidelines in the form of the welcome packets, online posts on your website, um, a campground owner, however, will need to stay on top of camping trends to keep attractive visitors. This means planning additional events and finding ways to incorporate amenities that are unique to your campground, such as cabin rentals or horseback riding. Well, the uh, the presentation uh, included uh, all of that, but uh, we uh, were hoping for uh, some uh, questions and uh, some answers at this point in time. So we'd like to invite you to, to ask a question if you've not already uh, in the chat session. 
and uh, we'll answer that uh, as best we can. So um, I, I know we have Kaylin, uh, our engineer here, uh, has been monitoring that. So um, uh, we'll see if we have any questions come in and uh, we'll go over those, but see what pops up. But hopefully this has been beneficial and uh, get some uh, good ideas for uh, satisfying the reason why we're here. And uh, so um, looking here. Looks like maybe uh, we've got uh, what's uh, what about here with a uh, uh, main recommendation being to personalize and customize communication. What if a property owner does not have time to implement this? Uh, well, actually, yeah, Chuck, we, we have an ultimate marketing toolkit, which is very robust uh, piece of content to download this resource. These resources are tailored to help you jumpstart your marketing efforts, uh, your visitors before or it provides a dis, uh, industry tips and personalized templates that will enable you to better engage with your visitors before, during and after their stay. This includes plug and play email templates as well, so you can kickstart your personalized marketing efforts immediately. We will be sending follow-up emails tomorrow and we'll make sure that we include this link. Okay, great. Yeah, I've seen that before. It's a great tool. So um, yeah, I should uh, remember that. <laughs> the um, plug and play is very, very beneficial. It's really curated to make it a little bit easier to kind of just curate to your personal guests, but still have the kind of guidelines to be able to send it out quickly. Oh, I, I get, you know, the question, uh, it is busy. Uh, we are all doing our thing. I know park owners juggle a lot, wear many hats and uh, get many uh, distractions pulling them other ways. So uh, setting up that automation that we talked about earlier, having some things fire off automatically, but uh, certainly uh, uh, the guest experience is why we, uh, why the people come. So uh, uh, having those tools and uh, being prepared is what we hope to provide you today. Yeah. Looks like we have one more uh, come in. What do you personally think as people working in the industry are the top one to two things a campground or marina owner can do to improve their guest experience right now? Um, I guess I, you know, the welcome packets are always something that I've been a fan of that's pretty easy to implement at the beginning just to kind of have that detail about your property, have that bottle of water, have that little personalized, you know, welcome to your site. Thank you for staying with us and giving them all of that, all of those tools right up in front. Yeah, I, from my experience, um, uh, as I mentioned, uh, some um, uh, automation, if I can check in remotely, I, I th that's me. I, I love that. I go to the kiosk at the store instead of the person. So uh, having the, the options available, if it's not the only thing, which is fine with me, but having options available uh, for uh, uh, self-service, uh, even if it's later uh, in the evening. And then, uh, as I mentioned, the, you know, uh, it, information in advance, uh, letting the uh, the guest know what's the best way to, to come into their property. And then another one, uh, I guess when I'm booking online, we've talked about our internet booking engine. Uh, I, I like to pick my site, uh, the interactive map. Uh, I talk to a lot of park owners that don't do that yet. They have reasons for it and some of them very valid, uh, but certainly being able to pick your site, I think is a, a higher uh, level of uh, customer uh, experience, uh, at least from my perspective. So I, I would just say those are some of the things that I personally look for. But um, we have uh, got a another few one. more questions that came in before we wrap up um, just inquiring about being able to provide guests with logging, creating void, creating additional accounts, you know, based off of RMS and what we can offer, it is just going to be that one time sign in for their guest portal. And then that's going to be ac accessible to manage all of their reservations. So instead of having to go back and forth, all of that can be managed from one area. And it looks like another question came through just asking, you know, what type of trainings are recommended for staff 
Uh, actually, there's going to be a lot of great material that maybe we can also include in the follow up email. Just referencing. Um, there's going to be self taught for staff so they can kind of go through trainings on their own. There's going to be personalized training available with our training and implementation team at ad hoc trainings that we can offer and set up with you through an account manager. And then lastly, just kind of going through and utilizing those tools that you know Chuck had mentioned, you know, outsourcing them to say, you know, maybe there's options in the LinkedIn for further training. And of course, the YouTube is going to be a great option to go through and see quick tutorials on that. Yeah, and one other thing that uh, just point out is, uh, you know, when you're logging into RMS, there is an option to go into the training environment and uh, that training environment can be refreshed sort of like uh, when you work with play with a, an Etch-a-Sketch. You know, when you're done, you shake it and you start all over. Well, the training environment can be uh, shaken, refreshed, but it's a good way to have staff just go in and check uh, guests in, check them out without messing up live data. So just uh, remind everyone of that tool that's that's right there in the RMS system. But were there more or is that it? Mm -hmm. No more questions coming in that we might have to answer at the end. Let's see here. Okay, I see one. How about a mobile yes, app? Chuck, Any you... idea? Yeah, there was one I saw here about a mobile app. Any idea? Uh, yeah, there's no plans to develop a mobile app that I'm aware of. Right now, we have what's called a web app. It's just the um, the RMS URL link, the app.rms cloud. You open that up on your mobile device and using your browser, you'll have access to the system, but uh, there's no plans to have an iOS or an Android app uh, for the system, just using your browser as far as I am aware. And it does condense to that mobile version, so it's, it's helpful because Frankly, all of our guests, all of us are on our mobile devices most of the time, so it does condense and get to that mobile version, so it's just easily accessible from most of those email triggers is how they're going to be able to access it. Yeah, and um, the the uh, messaging that we talked about, the, the message center, text messaging, guest portal, easily accessible from the mobile uh, version on your phone. So if you log in, walk around your property, uh, those guest communications will uh, pop up. You'll hear a beep on that. So uh, I see another one. When will housekeeping uh, uh, app? Uh, well, the, the, the staff portal, I think, has changed. There's no longer a staff portal. There is, uh, if you set up uh, a housekeeper in the system and they log in through the normal app.rms cloud, then any task that you assign to them will be visible so that's there and running you may want to uh, check the help center uh, or uh, our, our support team for that but uh, that is already available last question i saw before we wrap up was something earlier from isaiah just asking you know what's the best form of communication guests enjoy you know between email chatting and sms the good news is from the staff standpoint, it's all going to come through via chat. So it kind of just depends on how your, you know, your guests are going to want to communicate. We do see SMS and folks on their mobile more often now. So having that SMS texting is going to be really, really helpful. You can customize trigger templates. You can have templates available so you don't really even have to think about what you're going to text out to your staff or your guests. You can just have that readily available and have, you know, pre-arrival, post check-in, and then post check-out and sending out those SMSs are going to be really directly to your guests and they're going to have it in their hand. So we can see that it's definitely moving towards that, that type of communication. But I just want to thank everyone again for coming. I hope this was informative for you all. And if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Chuck. I'll have a great day and I hope it's a wonderful and profitable summer for you all.